Hello and welcome to this video series on Builderall using private label rights products to build your funnel. Today, we're going to be taking our Ketogenic Diet 101 product and recreating the funnel page in our Pixel Perfect Site Builder. Before we start building anything in our Website Builder, you can see that there are many different colors for the text in the funnel. What we want to do first is figure out the text color and change the default fonts to the proper color. This will save you time when you are building the page so you don't have to change the color of the font every time you create a new text box. For this funnel, we will need four colors, gray, white, orange, and green. To get the exact colors that we will be using, we are going to press F12 and then highlight some of the text, right click and inspect element. This will bring up a little section of code with a proper hex notation for the color. We copy that and we will be changing our H1 text to that color. Just click the color, more colors, paste the new color into the box, and do the same thing for mobile. We will repeat this process for the orange text as well. The white is simple, the hex code is just all Fs, and the gray they are using is just 333. Perfect. Now, to add the text to the funnel, we just click the Add Element button, Text, and H1. We go back to our pre-built funnel, exit out of the Inspect Console, and copy the first section and paste it into our funnel. You can tell the font isn't the right font style either, so we'll go back and inspect the funnel we had built for us. Lado, sans serif. Now, go back to Builderall and open the text editor and change the H1 text to Lado. One bad thing is that the inspect element doesn't always show you which Lado to use, so you have to play around a little. I know this is Lado bold, so we just change that to the correct font. Now, we make sure the formatting is correct. I know this needs to be italicized, so I just press Ctrl I and then it will make it into italics. We also want to make sure the text is center aligned to match the funnel. Then we resize it so it matches the funnel. Right click and center the element so it lands in the center of the page. We need to get rid of this here or else it will stay in the way. Right click, hit center, and we're going to move some stuff down. Now this element is actually a box. You want to try to keep the other elements inside of this box because when you move the box, all the elements move and stay in the relative position in regards to their positions in the box. This will be super helpful later on, but for now, just develop that habit. Now we will be expanding this box down a little bit. We just need a little bit of extra space for our second text box. If you are making some edits and you see this little box in the top left, just hit escape. Now to add our orange text. Do the same thing as we did for the green. Center it. We haven't changed the text to later yet, so we need to go back and edit that. Doesn't look bold, so we're going to go with Lato Medium. This is the part that might take some time. Just play around with it. Don't worry if you don't get it the correct uh, size or style right away. I noticed that it is a little large. Uh, we should go back over to our pre-built funnel and check the size. Highlight some text and inspect. Okay, 33 pixels. Go back over to Builderall and change the text size. 
Just center the element after the change and we are set. Let's make sure H1 is the correct size as well. 55 pixels. And 55 pixels, perfect. Time to adjust the video. Center the element, right click, go to configure. So fun part of this, the pre-built funnel is linking to a YouTube video already. Just right click and copy video URL and paste it into your builder all configure section of the video. All done, time to adjust our button. You're going to inspect the button on the pre-built page. We need to find the colors of the button so that the background and the borders match. This color is when the button is not being hovered. This element does have a hover attribute where the colors change. In Build All, right click and select Appearance. We need to change the color and border color first, and then we'll grab the color for the hover from our Inspect Console and change the hover's colors as well. Change the text of the button to I want to lose weight now in all caps. Beautiful. Looks like the font goes to 333 three, three when it is hovered, so let's adjust that as well. Change the font to Leto Semi Bold. Perfect. And change the text. Done. We are going to do this for every single element on the pre-built funnel page. While you're creating this funnel, you'll realize that the funnels in Builderall aren't meant to be incredibly long, so you need more space. All you need to do is go to the absolute bottom and move the footer down. Oh, uh, those elements are still in the way. We kind of just threw everything down here earlier. Uh, at the bottom of the page, you'll see the footer. Just click and hold the footer and drag down to create more space on the page. We're going to go back up and clean up a bit. We probably won't be using these elements, so we could just get rid of them. I talked about boxes earlier, and I'll try to create a box for each section of a funnel, so each different background in this case. Just going to create a new box, get rid of the border, center the element, and add in paragraph text. We'll copy and paste this, make this bold, make that bold, double check the size, 20 pixels, click new style. We're going to increase the size to 20 pixels and make it how it looks on the funnel page. And we're going to put these a little bit further over. Now, we're going to add five of the same image here. We want all these to line up at the same point. So we click ruler up top and set a point by clicking the spot you want them to line up. We will add the image. Don't worry how big it is. We will resize it. Right click, change image. I just have to find that line. If you haven't uploaded the photo yet, just click Upload and it will be in the Assets folder of the Sales page. Alright, we just resized this image. Uh, you just have to eyeball it. That's about right. Move it over. Um, I don't like the way this is lined up. We need to move it a little bit in and move the text out a little bit further. Now click on your image, press Control C, then Control V, copy and paste this four times, move them into place and you are all set. Get rid of the line on the screen by right clicking on the section in the ruler. Now we need to change the background. You can use an image or a color. For this one, we just use a color. Right click, appearance, colors, 
and change this to really light gray. Click OK. One last thing you will need to know while building this website is how to create a horizontal line. To do this, click the Add Element section. Add App. Add HTML. Right click and edit. Type in open caret HR close caret and resize however large you need it. That's all for this video. There's a lot to it, so if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, or the comments here on YouTube. The links will be in the description. If this video was useful to you, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more training on Builderall, advertising, marketing, and branding. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.